photography uh, this granola on white background but later i want to show you uh, how i editing this in photoshop uh, step by step uh, to make a perfect photo uh, product photo on white background <music> Photography this uh, granola, I will be using one lamp. I will be using this umbrella. I don't want to use the softbox. I want to show you. You can use the umbrella and make it uh, uh, the soft light. Because when I'm using this lamp, how you see, the lamp is here. It's the shadows is very hard here. But we wanted to make it the soft the light, uh, not that hard. That's why using the umbrella. You have something like that here. Every uh, lamp have the same. You put here uh, the umbrella coming to the lamp. And it's a very soft light now down and stronger opposite I will be using the uh, whiteboard to make the light soft and automatic the umbrella the soft make it the shadows and is nice mm -hmm. here when I take this is dark when I put this is automatic uh, make it more uh, here is not that shadow I open my uh, photoshops and I do the duplicate uh, the layer. I using command J to make the duplicate. Next what I do I uh, zooming for bigger the photo and I will be try to uh, select my product and uh, separation from the background to using pen tool. I using the pen tool uh, go to around the product how you see now you must be very precision with this because uh, uh, if uh, you make mistake later you will be see white background what is not good on your new uh, on your new uh, uh, selection uh, uh, layer and the photo will be done looks good and you must start again from beginning that is better to try a few times before you do this and i love using the uh, these tools to separation the background because it's for me uh, easy and for beginning is the best when you coming to the end of this you close this uh, uh, touching together match together and you close and using the mouse right button may uh, choice make selection be sure the feather uh, always is one or zero and you press the button ok and now you have separation the product from the uh, from the uh, background and using again uh, comment J to make it another layer how you see now looks everything good and when you see you make the layer uh, looks really uh, now is a layer and product is separation from the background next things what I will be do is um, 
Next, I use the adjustment layer and I choose solid color, what give me to choose uh, co uh, my color, the background, how you see. And I choose the white, you can change for different background. But now uh, I will be do another uh, layer, choice uh, clean layer, because I don't like it how looks my product is not so clean and I don't like how it looks. That's a choice, another uh, 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 the black layer. And on this black layer, new black layer, I will be work to do uh, my, uh, clean my product. I using the tool, put, I using here the brush tool uh, to clean this product have always on the top normal type content average and always sample all a layer because if you don't use this you cannot work on with these tools and will be doesn't work and you cannot clean this product and make it better the photo how see this is easy to use and uh, see, uh, easy to use and quickly to clean the product I clean always uh, that product to using this tool. For me, it's more easy and simple to do this. And later, when I finish this uh, this uh, photo to clean, this uh, product to clean, I uh, finish everything in Lightroom because for me, it's easy to work in Lightroom to editing all this photo. Take the colors, uh, sharpness make it, or brightness or darkness, little more. And that's how I finish my product in Lightroom. If you have any question about Photoshop or Lightroom, please leave the comment and I try to answer or make it another video in feature and uh, including your questions and answer on this question for a new video. I hope uh, you like this video and help you to understand a little the photoshops and was nice to see what I do, how I work and how I uh, editing that photos from a simple one white background make it like photos looks really realistic, more interesting and uh, probably bringing me that's one photo more clients who, who I can do the same. I make it amazing photo on white background when can use everywhere. Uh, that is for today. I hope uh, you like it. If you like it, please subscribe, leave the button and uh, and leave the comment. Will be nice. And see you soon. Thank you for today. See you soon.